Introducing the Everest Degenerative Spinal System from K2M. The patient should be positioned as appropriate for a posterior approach, taking care to preserve or improve sagittal alignment of the spine. The small cortical crest of the pedicle is perforated with an awl or is removed with an available rangeur or burr to expose the underlying cancellous bone. The entry point is cannulated with the curved or straight probe and the probe is advanced to the appropriate depth as determined by the surgeon. The prepared pathway is sounded with the ball tip feeler to verify that the walls of the pedicle have not been violated. The appropriate size tap should be used to prepare the pedicle screw pathway. Each tap is measured line to line with the corresponding screw diameter. Everest screws are available in multiple lengths and diameters. Screws are color-coded by length to allow for quick and accurate implant identification. The Everest screw utilizes an optimized dual-lead thread pattern and provides 70 degrees of polyaxial range of motion, allowing for greater flexibility in screw placement intraoperatively. After the proper screw length and diameter has been determined, the implant is loaded onto the distal end of the screw inserter. When using an Everest polyaxial screw inserter, grasp the implant by the shaft of the screw and apply a downward force to engage the screw into the hexalobe fitting of the screwdriver shaft. Thread the knurled wheel in a clockwise direction until the implant is securely attached to the inserter. The screw may now be inserted into the prepared pathway. To disengage the screw inserter, Gently turn the knurled wheel in a counterclockwise direction and remove from the surgical field. Once the screws have been advanced to the appropriate depth, it may be necessary to realign the implant heads prior to rod insertion. The polyaxial housing of the screw can be manipulated with the screw head adjuster. Pre-contoured rods are available in several lengths in both 5.5 and 6.0 mm diameters. The French rod bender may be used to contour the rods to the desired amount of lordosis or kyphosis. By pulling out and rotating the dial, the rod may be bent to the desired curvature, small, medium, or large. Once the desired length and contour of the rod is achieved, the rod introducing forceps can be used to fit the rod into the screws. The single action anti-torque rod reducer or cicada can be utilized for common reductions up to 15 millimeters into Everest implants. Adjust the knurled ring on the instrument to accommodate the proper rod diameter. Once the instrument is engaged, by grasping the feet around the screw head, squeeze the silver lever to reduce the rod into the implant housing. The set screw may be passed through the center of the cicada using the long provisional driver and thread it into the implant housing. Open the silver lever fully to disengage the feet from the head of the implant and pull upward. For greater reductions up to 30 millimeters, the Everest threaded rod reducer may be utilized. For initial application, ensure the proximal rotation handle is turned counterclockwise to its stopped position. This will ensure the feet are fully splayed open and prepared to engage the implant. Grasp both handles and introduce the feet around the head of the screw. Once the instrument is in proper position, turn the proximal handle in a clockwise direction until the rod is fully seated. The set screw may be passed through the center of the Everest threaded rod reducer using the long provisional driver and threaded into the implant housing to provisionally tighten the construct. To disengage the instrument, turn the proximal handle counterclockwise until it stops, splaying the feet open, and pull upward to disengage from the implant housing. If no reduction is necessary, the set screw can be inserted using either the long or short provisional driver. Due to its design, the Everest set screw facilitates easy introduction and reduces the potential for cross-threading. Compression and distraction may be performed with the Everest implants while the set screws are provisionally tightened. Once the desired amount of compression and distraction has been achieved, 
it is necessary to tighten the set screw sufficiently to hold the implant in position. Final tightening of the Everest implants is achieved using either the cicada or the anti-torque alignment tube attached to the anti-torque handle. Insert the torque wrench into the top opening of the cicada and introduce the torque wrench tip into the set screw. The appropriate torque level of 90 inch pounds is achieved with the torque indicating wrench when the line and the arrow meet. Once the set screw in the Everest implant has been final tightened, it may be loosened using the set screw removal wrench. Insert the removal wrench through the anti-torque device and turn the handle of the instrument counterclockwise to loosen the set screw. The screw may be removed with the screw removal shaft and T-handle. Engage the driver tip with the inner hexalobe of the screw and turn in a counterclockwise direction to remove the screw.